And that's gonna be some hard shit. How you about to navigate this whole merger, bitch, and you got these personal underlying feelings involved in this shit, and it's y'all two handling it. He's handling the merger for his side of the team. He handling it for his side. And y'all, y'all can't be bringing this shit to work. Keep it cute, keep it professional. Don't let y'all feelings fuck with the bag. What's up, you guys? It's me, Reggie. Your favorite food down shoot, the Yataku Hottie. And today, you guys, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, we are finally here with the second season of We Best Love fighting Mr. Second. Okay, so I would be lying if I sat up here and said that upon initial investigation, okay, I'd be lying if I said that, you know, episode seven didn't throw a boy for a loop with the gag and the goop. But, but, Y'all know me, baby. We stay clocking the storylines, the plot lines, and seeing all the interdimensional timelines within the BL sphere. And I refuse to believe that our golden boy Shide spent all this time and effort and energy into getting this nigga, securing said nigga, and then gonna go off to America, get him a bitch, and then make her a pregnant nasty. I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm not here for it. I'm not, no. I'm not buying what you're trying to serve me, girl. You might can get shit in with that shit, because we all know he fucking dumb as hell. But you ain't gonna fuse me, baby. Because my Lord, Yahweh Jesus, he has helped me see the way. And I refuse to play with y'all like that. So, but I just have a few questions, though, because one, again, who is this baby? Who is this bitch with this baby? Why was you gone at that moment for an additional 22 months? You're supposed to be gone for fucking 24. And just based off my, like, theory that this is his, like, newborn baby brother and that's his stepsister, why did she we not know about these two before coming to see him? And two, if y'all were in communication up until that point, how did you not know that baby boy was pulling up? And if you didn't, you know, if, if y'all weren't talking to each other and this was a surprise visit, how the fuck did she know where to find you? Because one, I, I'm just still confused too as to why, bitch, baby in hand or not. I was expecting Shuey to fucking go in and be like, who the fuck is this bitch? Who is this baby? What the fuck going on? But we didn't get that. He just want to rock on the way and just did not talk to his nigga. And that ain't spoken in fucking five years. Well, three years, I guess, after that point. And it's just, what the hell? But I have faith in the We Best Love team. They've done a great job with their storylines and plots and pacing and how they're doing this shit. So I'm just anticipating that maybe, maybe within the first three or four episodes, hopefully three, maybe, I don't know, that we just gonna get this shit out the way and be in and out and get back to that loving and dubbing and kissing and hugging. Because the way y'all been talking about season two, it's five years later, we a little bit more grown up. So I'm expecting that chemistry to get a little bit more grown up. So I, again, I'm ready. So expect to see this shirt here for a good couple of episodes because I don't know if I'm going to binge all of them, but I'm definitely going to try to knock out a good couple of episodes. So, yeah. And you guys, per usual, you know the tea. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to let me know that you guys want more BL Fujin Otaku related content. Go ahead and hit that like button to let me know that you guys want more We Best Love Fighting Mr. Second. And wrap it up with that triple c c c combo breaker. And ring that little, little bell so you know exactly when the bitch goes live. And yes... We're here. I don't want to waste more time. So let's cut the chit chat and get straight into the show. But before we do, cue a bitch intro. <laughs> If you take so long to hit me back, I can promise you how I react. Oh, so she they won't really like, I mean, they were talking, but he won't be in like consistent. You know, this along this is relationship and you knew, like he said, had you told me that from the beginning, you know, something else could have, you know, gone through a bitch mind. A year. So and again, at least they were talking, but it's like, baby, like we long distance. This ain't what I thought I was signing up for. You need to be consistent. Mm. So he was coming 
to America or he well he was coming abroad so that would explain why he just showed up okay as what we see so he really just stumbled upon this nigga like just randomly like this I don't believe that that don't make sense y'all ain't spoke in about a week or two and you just decided to come abroad and you randomly stumble upon him what the fuck are the odds of that Or again, was this in Taiwan? I'm so confused. Y'all know I'm stupid. Okay, shower scene. And I'm like, she that you fucked up. Because again, y'all know you long distance. You need to be communicating with your man. You know your man want all this attention and stuff. You fucked up for that. But then again, baby girl, why the fuck are you always just jumping to these conclusions? But I can understand it, though, because he is supposed to his nigga. What else is he supposed to think? Profile, but I'm fine with that shit. Look at him being a good boss. And he look good in that suit, bitch. Who is this nigga, L? Is that who he drawing inspiration from? There go best friends with his little cute ass and his little cute little man. Look at oh look at them. And how like how are you in this role and ain't seen your fucking man in five years? Like how you got all this going on and you ain't fucking talk to him about none of this in the middle process? Like what the fuck? Like you deserve this slap, bitch. Like you hmm. <laughs> That's right, she, you dumb motherfucker, I'm like. Because he know this right, y'all. Because he know. He know. He lucky she would then fucking just goddamn put the dumb dumbs. Like, y'all, y'all know T. Y'all already know y'all can't come in here. This is me and Dad. We, we, got, we got some things to discuss. And this nigga, what the fuck? Okay, it sound cute. It sound cute, but the first OST definitely, you know, hit a little bit harder. Oh, and look at them. Oh, that's Dr. Daddy's nigga. Yes. Okay, now we got another person in the little. Okay, yes. The boy, okay. I really hope the best friend couple get a little bit of attention because I, I like them together. They look hella cute. I like how they formed at the end of season one, so I'm interested. Okay, nigga, come on, because you got some splainings to do. You lucky we don't fight right fucking now. Right, bitch, for what? Five years. <laughs> like, oh, girl. Ooh. Oh, so they both were. Okay, so they're both in the company that are doing the acquisition. Okay. Tell me that like years ago, like what the fuck? Like, what you mean you got your reasons? Like nigga, you right like I like, I'm oof, just oof. Oh ooh. Hell have no fury like a bottom bitch is scorn, bitch. He said he about to chop you niggas. You done fucked up, she that. You done really fucked up, man. He mad as hell. He is mad as a bitch, and I do not blame him. Like I said, what's the tea? 
That's the, the tea is discovery. It ain't about this dumb misunderstanding shit. Why were you really gone for five years and didn't say shit? What the fuck really happened? <laughs> what is wrong? Is this really Dr. Daddy's bae? Because what the fuck is wrong with him? Yes, he can. You, you better. Wait, <laughs> oh, bitch! Like she, they, you, you better get to sucking on hella booty holes and dinglings for your boy because he is fucking. Pissed. You better find some way to make it right. After you done came in here talking about none of y'all getting fired, and he done came in here saying half of you hoes, everybody on this side of the room, you might get chopped. And nigga, you on top of that list, you better fucking make it right. You better fucking make it right. I need answers now. I need she to be already at the apartment with flowers, with whatever. Like, she didn't need to be. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. And how does he know where, where are they right now? How did he know where he at? Oh, they about to fuck. It's about to be anger sex and he will still kick him to the curb. How did I miss that? Ooh. It's about to be anger, passionate sex, and then he gonna kick him out. <laughs> the, the love is still there, bitch. He knows that he just hurt. It's still there, he hurt. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Nigga, don't think you just about to walk up here, cook me a meal. Oh, I, oof. I, you just, you can't, I know, baby, you can't let it go. I'm, that's your nigga, like, you mad as hell, but you, you want him there. Because you need to see what the fuck, you want to know, you got questions that need answers too, but you just mad as fuck, I know. You better, you, you better play this role. You better play. Like, as mad as you are, the love is still there. And that's why you let him stay in that fucking kitchen and cook your motherfucking meal. Because you know you're the baddest and you deserve a meal. Step one to the recovery, to the makeup process. Oh, a flashback. Period. No chillies, no carrots. Oh. Are that nigga yes you are? You know you gonna eat that shit. Don't even play. <laughs> no, he did it. They are so fucking cute. I need the season two photo book. Excuse me? 
，左边的脸相亲交往。哦，这是玉信介绍给我的。你在跟我开玩笑吗？ Right, well, you know you gay. Stop playing. Come on, stop. Who are you? You better stop playing. You better stop playing with him for he jump on your ass. Right. Cause that's why you so fucking mad cause you was waiting. Don't you sit here and put up a front. Ooh, I ain't no bitch. Right, no you sitting there lying. Sit there lying. Okay now baby, but you you gotta stop putting hands on him now. You really gotta stop putting hands on him. Like, but she, I mean, she ain't, listen, you, you know, like you just said, you know that you owe him, you know that you just got to take that shit, but also at the same time, that does not give you rights and needs to be putting your hands on him like that, because if he had to knock the shit out your ass, you would have been here like, oh my God, he hit me. Hey, God, how are you just going to slap me back, bitch, because you put your hands on me first, the fuck? But it's fine because we already see the cracks in your behavior. Sitting there lying, talking about you fucking dating that bitch. No damn way your ass gay as a bitch. I mean, I'm not saying that like she they gotta kiss his ass either. But this is your fault. Like, you gotta deal with this. You literally won't, y'all won't communicate in like that. Like you should have been knowing that your ass was gone overseas for years. And you just like, what the fuck? But again, all the, the root of this, though, is him seeing him with that bitch. If they would literally just talk to each other for a fucking second. And I understand, I know, she ain't trying to hear that shit because he's still fucking mad. He, he, this is the first time he's actually seen him and had conversation with this nigga in five years. He don't want nothing to do with this nigga right now. But clearly, he let that man stay in his house and cook that meal. He frying. I know he went back and ate that motherfucking fried rice. Look at him. Gone in the kitchen. Your meal's still there. Go ahead. Exactly. Exactly. Go eat that motherfucking meal and just realize, damn. You're wrong. He's going to eat that shit and he's going to be like, damn, I did used to love this nigga. I used to love this man. And then like 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 old boy say a bitch. I had this nigga then got disqualified. So obviously I'm pissed. It's uh <sighs> Yes, these bodies. Okay, shower scene. Now we got hella other body scenes. Come on, pectorals, nipples. And that's gonna be some hard shit. How you about to navigate this whole merger? Bitch, and you got these personal underlying feelings involved in this shit, and it's y'all two handling it. He's handling the merger for his side of the team. He handling it for his side, and y'all, y'all can't be bringing this shit to work. Keep it cute, keep it professional. Don't let y'all feelings fuck with the bag, cause then y'all got to answer to other motherfucking people. Y'all got bosses too. Baby, don't go scaring out the employees now. You don't want to be like an evil dictator. I know you mad, but calm down. Everybody just looks so good in their suits. <laughs> no. Baby, don't. 
don't do this. Uh oh. Uh oh. They might get it on an office. True. True. He mean what he said and he said what he mean. Bitch, fucking tying his shoelaces don't explain what the fuck was going on for five years, bitch. You need to do something better. You know what he gonna say? He mad. He gonna say, get the fuck out my sight. Like, what, girl? Come on. Do better, baby. You better than this. Oh. They about to fuck. They about to fuck. Make sure it's locked. Yeah, I'm telling you, listen, I know the type of girl she really is. That's what he about to do. He about to fuck him to get his hopes up like he's still in there. Because, you know, some girls be confusing sex with, you know, their relationships and whatever. Sex confuses things. He about to get, he about to take the dick from his man and then leave his ass high and dry. He about to use and abuse this nigga. And I just don't want, I don't want my bitch to be such like a fucking heartbroken like hateful ass bitch because of this. Oh, oh, oh! Get the dick, get the dick. I don't know why she they playing like he don't want this, but he know he know why his man doing this. He know why he trying him like this. He ain't stupid. She they ain't dumb. But he also want that pussy, so he about to give in too. He's like, bitch, if, if this is the only part of you that I can have for the time being, then fine. But like, it's, as long as you understand that I'm serious, because he about to give you that Disney. -y. He about to got there and beat the bricks off that pussy, goddamn. Don't play with him. He about to remind you, oh, you, you miss this dick, don't you? I know you do. Don't play. Oh, they tried Oh! Oh, see, I told y'all that daddy was going to come back to play. Lord Jesus. Bitch. All right, so episode one, you guys. What the fuck? So, okay. Again, it, it, it didn't need to be explained in regards to how they got into these positions that they jobs that don't really matter because what we want to see is the boys and this relationship and what the fuck is going on with this relationship. So how they got into their positions, it don't even fucking matter, but they did say that the family, um, she day is company, belongs to his family or some shit, whatever, whatever, whatever. But about the boys, baby, they did not come to play. Okay, like I, I, I saw all of this. I saw all of this coming. Fucking Shide is remorseful. Shui man is a bitch. And it's, it's, <clears throat> and at least I'm just glad that we not like brushing over this shit. Like it's just like, oh, hey, how you doing? Like, bitch, we're very much picking up where we left off. Shui again, mad as a motherfucker. Rightfully so. Nigga, you left me high and dry. He think this nigga cheated on him. And we just don't know what to fuck to feel or what the fuck to do. Because, bitch, we all fucking throw for a loop with the gag in the group. Like, oh my God. But at least, again, at least she day is just like owning up to this shit. Like, he know, hey, listen, I'm here. I know it's been a minute. I'm sorry. But 
baby, please just listen. Shuey, clearly, you can tell by Shuey's actions. There's still some love there, because if you really want, like, bitch, go back to season one. She they say it, Shuey don't do nothing that he don't fucking want to do. So the fact that he let this man in the house and cook that meal means something is still there. There's still some love between them, because he could have really just been like, get the fuck home, like, for real. Like, no. So the fact that he let that man stay in there, cook that meal, he could have stopped him mid everything is what I'm gonna do with my fucking self. But he let him do that because it brought back those old memories. We saw the flashback, bitch. Shuey felt that shit. That's why he let him there. And when he thought about the moments, he also thought about that hurt and it fucked him up again. So she they just need to give Shuey some time to breathe. A little bit of time, you know. Well, he technically how much time he need to breathe because nigga they won't together. But he just need to give him time to process his emotions again now that he's back in his fucking presence. Because you're not being there for him to forget about you because you're out of sight, out of mind. But bitch, now you're here. You got to see this nigga every day after a five-year break. Y'all at work. Now you're trying to mix fucking work with personal feelings, which is going to be hard as fuck because nigga, you got this bussy that you dipped. So now nigga, he about to take your dick and dip. Like he said in the preview, I want this nigga to know what it's like to feel betrayed. Because that's all she be doing. He just trying to get back at his man. And she, they hopefully can see this and understand this and is like, all right, I get it. I'm gonna let you have your moment. I, I Listen, I know you wanna hurt me like I fucking hurt you. So let's get that shit out the way and just talk it out. Tell us what the fuck happened. I mean, clearly they got the dick because we saw the preview with the motherfucking daddy came in and said, what you do to my son? So I'm just, girl, fighting Mr. Second. I'm, I'm so here. I'm about to go ahead now and watch episode two so we can kind of get the binge running a little bit, girl, because, oh, my God. My God. So, yes, you guys, tell me what you guys thought about this episode down below. Don't forget to, again, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Because, bitch, Finding Mr. Second is here, and we're already invested. So, yes, you guys, again, that is enough for today's episode. Comment down below what did you think, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.